for this project, you will need paper and also an opened brown paper grocery bag or a piece of cardboard, any larger piece of paper that you can eventually glue on. You need glue, scissors, a pencil or pen or marker, and your choice of supplies to color with, crayons, colored pencils, or markers. Hi, were you inspired by the dot? I love the idea that we can start with something super simple and make art from it. So we're gonna make our own dot art project. You will need a piece of paper, A cut open grocery bag, if you don't have that, um, a piece of cardboard, um, just any kind of paper that's not white. And one thing I like to do when I work on brown paper is crumple it up. Oh look, we just made a dot, 3D dot. But the reason I like to do this is it makes your paper softer. So you crumple it up, and then smooth it out. And I like the crinkly texture it gives, but it's also, um, it'll lie a little flatter and I just think it's nicer to work with. You will then need either crayons or colored pencils or markers, or you can combine them. And then either a marker or a pen. That's how we're going to start our dot. Let's go. Okay, to begin our dot, take your piece of paper, and you might need a grown-up to help you. You're going to fold it in half, and then fold it in half again. You know what, boys and girls? I forgot to tell you, you also need some scissors. Open up your paper and now you have one, two, three, four different rectangles. Four rectangles. In each rectangle we're going to make, can you guess, a dot. So you can make a dot right in the middle. You can make a bigger dot that looks kind of like a spiral. You can make a scribbly dot. You can make an empty dot. We're still at school. The bell's ringing. Here's a quick review. Fold your paper into four. Make four different dots. Take whatever it is you're going to use to add color. I think today I'm going to use crayons. I really like crayons. And I want you to start creating a, um, a picture of each dot. can add shapes around it. You can color in around it. Each dot can be different. I like crayons because I can use them in different ways. I can use them like a pencil, I can use them almost like a windshield wiper to fill in lots of big spaces. This is going to be my green dot over here. I'm going to do different colors of green.
Hmm, two more dots to do. Okay, so we finished making our dots. I tried to make each one of mine very different. Can you describe your dots? This dot reminded me of a hot summer's day. And then this dot, I wanted to think of a giant hole in a field of grass. And I wonder if I went down it, would I, where would I go? This dot reminded me of a really loud noise, like um, the dump truck when it picks up the garbage or a car horn. And then this dot, I wanted to feel like I was um, near some water at nighttime, so it's really calm. What kind of dots did you make? Can you share with someone and describe your dots? So, final step of the project. Get your paper bag or your cardboard or your second piece of paper. I'm really sorry, I also forgot to say you need some glue. And you can use bottle glue or a glue stick. And you, if you know how to use scissors, it's time to get your scissors. Or you can ask uh, a grown-up or if you have an older brother or sister to help you cut. What are we going to cut out? You guessed it, we're gonna cut out our dots. Okay, boys and girls, I just start cutting out our dots. Notice how I'm turning my paper. So when I'm holding my scissors, my scissor points are always pointing up and I turn the paper instead of trying to go all the way around with my hand, it's easier to just turn the paper. It does take some practice to cut and turn. I've been cutting a long time. Ooh, I'm gonna make this noisy one really jagged. So those kind of look like sharp triangles. So even though we started with the dot, I'm seeing other shapes that came out of my dot. I wanted that one to look pointy. And then the last one, I want to look round, kind of like a cloud. So I'm turning my paper. I was cutting a little fast, wasn't I? I guess I can slow down. We get so used to being in a rush. Okay. And then I'm going to take my scrap paper and put it in my recycling bin. Maybe we'll do an art project with our uh, scrap paper. And now, you guessed it, I'm going to glue down my dots all together in one artwork. If you're using bottle glue, we do little drops around the outside of the shape we're going to glue down. Little drops of glue. We don't need to Pretend we're putting mustard on a hot dog. Little. So in a way, we're making more dots with our glue, aren't we? If you're using a glue stick, try and go around the outside of your shape. Okay. Oh, look, boys and girls. That's kind of like a piece of art, too. I have the dot in the middle, and then the dot's of glue. That one needs a little more glue.
Okay. Last dot. Press them down. And here we all are together. You can go that way or that way. You can look at it, decide which way is up. It could be up one way on Monday, different day Tuesday. So if you're ever struggling to think of an idea to make a drawing, begin with a dot.